is watching his third birthday party all over again. Right, Mike? Except he's still not looking at me or looking at the TV. Hello. He says, no cameras today. Like, that's literally <laughs> That's you, Mike. He says, remember my youth. Four years ago, Mike had a really dreary birthday, and today it's like super windy and rainy. So Mike's kind of a weather bad luck little pug. <laughs> Should we go have a puggy birthday breakfast? Come on, let's go. Run, Mike. Go, Mike. Come on. Go, Mike, go. Spin and spin and spin. <laughs> I think you should go potty first. There's Gumby. Mike, do you gotta go potty? Yeah? Okay. Go potty. Oh, there he goes. Go potty! Also, yes, my birdhouse fell down and broke. So that's great. So the hunt for a new birdhouse continues. Today, Mike gets a special breakfast. So he's getting pumpkin on the bottom, which I actually give him every day. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. I give him pumpkin every day, just like one scoop, because it's really good for dog digestion and also, of course, pumpkin in this household. Mike's a fan as much as I am. We have his regular food, which Mike eats Hills brand dog food. And then today I think I'm just gonna put some cheese on for him. I know on his third birthday, which was the last time we did this, I gave him some American cheese and some egg yolk, which I would actually love to give him some egg, egg yolk, but I don't have any eggs boiled right now. So unfortunately it's just cheese today, Mike, but maybe throughout the day I can make some eggs and for dinner you can have some egg yolk, okay? Here you go, birthday boy. <laughs> Hello there, everybody, and welcome to the Friday video on the second channel. So today, I'm very, very excited about the video that we have in store for you guys. Fun fact, if you did not know, and if you're new here in the past literally three years, or four, four years, I in the past have done a Mike, which is my pug son. I have done a birthday vlog of Mike's birthday, and we went to, I think, Petco last time, went to a home goods and got him a new bed. As you guys just saw a couple clips in the beginning, Mike was re-watching his old birthday vlog, but I had wanted to do one every single year. And then the good old Panorama Panda Express big old illness popped into existence and that never happened again. But this year things are different and we can totally go back and celebrate Mike's birthday with him at some stores, some shops, and all kinds of fun places. So today, if you didn't know, today is Mike's seventh birthday birthday. We are filming this on April 30th, which is last Sunday before this went up. And this is his actual birthday day. I'd love to take him on a walk, but I just heard on the news that this is our last day of like winter weather for the year. So it is not nice enough. It's like 29 feeling outside right now. Not very nice. It's also like rainy and there's even been some sprinkles of snow. We're just not gonna go on a walk today. I owe Mike a walk tomorrow, I told him. Or else I would do that, but we're gonna go to a few stores. We're gonna show you the fun foods that we feed Mike. I have some gifts that I think I'm gonna give him right after this clip that I'm pretty excited about. And yeah, we're just gonna kind of chill with Mike today and have a little birthday vlog. So happy seventh birthday to my son, Mike. Oh, come here. He's very excited. He's been waiting all week for today. He's very pumped, right? Did you have a good breakfast? Yum, yum, yum. The cheese was so delicious, Papa. So I hope you guys are excited. Ryan is in this video. He's just resting in bed right now, but he'll be joining us throughout the day as well. Let's start the day, Mike. I have a fun gift for Mike that I need to like inflate first. So I think I'm gonna go do that. So let's, let's go get that. All right, so I'm in our office right now. This is the wall that we film on. These are the lights that we use. Don't 
don't mind all this stuff. This is where we list, this is where we work. I bought Mike this giant like kickball sized tennis ball. It is nine and a half inches and it has a little inflator with it. So I wanna inflate it before I give it to him or else he's gonna be like, what is this? I also got him this bone and I would have got him some like toys and plushies and stuff, but that's what I'm gonna let him pick out today on his own. But I need to inflate this tennis ball for him. I'm really excited about this. So we took him on a walk we had this like heat spell of 80 degree days and we took him on a bunch of walks and we found a kickball at a park and he was obsessed with it. And that was about the same size as this. So that's why I knew I had to order this. He loves tennis balls a lot and he loves kickball sized stuff. Even though he can't like pick it up, he likes to like chase it around and kick it. So that's why I bought this and I'm really excited. <laughs> And I hope he likes it. So here's the tennis ball. <laughs> here's the little inflator, which is super nice. I had to ask my mom if she still had like a bike tire pump in case this didn't come with one. Let's see. Oh, it works perfectly. Here's how far we are. All right, we're getting close. It's looking like a tennis ball. <laughs> Could you imagine if he just pops it right away? That would be, that'd be great. Okay, <laughs> this is so cool, okay. All right, so I'm gonna give him the tennis ball and then I think when he gets a little like bored of the tennis ball, I'll give him his new bone. So let's see what Mike thinks. Mike, I have something. Huh. What is this, Mike? What is this? What is this, Mike? <laughs> yeah? What do you think, Mike? I do know that in the summer, he's going to be obsessed with this out in the yard. Mike, are you Airbud or something? <laughs> yeah, so I think it's a winner. Oh, Mike. <laughs> Pumpkin Man's down. Mike, you look evil. Tennis ball is a total win, but I'm gonna give Mike his bone just because we have like half an hour still before the stores open up and stuff. So, holy, is this the guest of honor, Mike? <laughs> what was that? No pictures, please. Did you just oink? Mike, man. Mike has been thoroughly enjoying his bone. I had to put down blankets because as I said in the last video, this is my new car. So I don't wanna like coat it in pug hair already. So he just gets this nice like pumpkin patch of comfort. So let's go get the prints. No, this car, Mike's never been in this car. So he's like, why is it silver? Oh. Crash landing. Here we go. We are first gonna hit up PetSmart. Yes. Then we're gonna go to a Petco. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna go to a Home Goods. The Home Goods and Petco are right next to each other. The PetSmart is really, really close, but like down They're the like road. They're like all so. in the same strip mall. Yeah. Which is so nice. Big seven year old is. Mike is, thankfully, he's <laughs> the not. Bone the bone is a blessing. He's not the best in the car. He always needs to see what's going on. So hopefully the bone kind of like. Yes. It seems like so far, bit. yes, but we'll see once we move. <laughs> Mike doesn't like cars. The bone didn't much. last that long as entertainment. No. <laughs> he also has a phobia of turn signals. Mike does reason. not like the car. Mike is not a car person. <laughs> there you go. We have arrived. Bum, bum, bum. One. He is excited. And I don't know if it's to be here or to be out of the car. I think both. <laughs> Mike, if you <laughs> repeat, Four years ago, when you used the facilities right upon entry, I'm gonna be very upset. So this garbage can Debbie fell and hit her face on it, and if you look at it from this angle, it's, it's still dented. Flat from where she hit it. Which is not funny, 
No. It was very scary, but she laughs at it after now. now but yeah, Debbie fell into that garbage can head right first once. This would be the perfect toy for you, but it's for birds. Darn it. But Mike is a huge pop. Oh my gosh, it's like a movie pack. That's so cute. So I just cut it out, but <laughs> Mike did use the facilities right away again. So we did have to utilize the station. Here's the toys, Mike. Here's Mike's favorite section, the, chew, the chewers, the, the, the moderate chewers. When Mike got neutered, I got him one of these. <laughs> and there's an old picture, which I'll put in if I can find it, of him when he was like smaller than that bone, but he was chewing the bone. Very Mike energy. Your grandma really likes cheese puffs and these kind of look like them. They're pup puffs. Oh, they are. Cheese flavored pup puffs. Mike, I think you'd like these. Just four calories. Yes, no? Should we go take a peek at the fish? Mike says, I want a pet pet. I want a pet for a pet. <laughs> Stop number one was unfortunately a strikeout, but we have okay. at least two more stops, so I think we'll be good. If you've seen Mike's third birthday video, he got a little lobster toy that was his favorite forever. Oh gosh, and I'm fairly certain that he ruined it, and so we don't have it anymore. So if he finds another one, I would love to renew the Your lobster. Name is lobster. Yeah. Yes. The return and the revival. We are at Petco now, right next to Home Goods. Many of you probably recognize this Home Goods. It is the Grand Central Station Home Goods, as I always call it. It actually doesn't seem that busy today, which is nice, especially for a summit. He is excited. Mike, look at these. I bet these smell good. He says, oh yeah. Whoa, they're scary, but Mike. they smell delicious. Does this look like a donut, Mike? <laughs> a bagel. A collagen bagel. We should get you some like wet food today. Jeez. For small breeds, that looks pretty good. Like, are you a small breed? Bologna dinner? That you like chicken and turkey. What's this one? Is it all bologna? Bologna! Um, ooh, chicken with peas. That seems like how does that sound? That seems like a yes. This isn't like a review of Pet Smart and Petco, but so far I'm liking the the okay, Petco this options little, more. Like, treat yeah, a treat is grabber. So cute. These are really cute bowls and yeah, canisters. Yeah, and look at these stuff. bowls and they're the kinds where it takes them longer to eat. This is so these are nice. These seem right up Mike's alley. He likes anything tennis ball material. Mike. Football? You wanna be a football star? I have a lot of spooky tennis balls for Mike, so I don't need more tennis balls. I found the bagels, the no hide bagels. They're 550, which seems like a good deal, but they have different oh, colors. This one's sizzling bacon, delectable beef. Mike hmm. likes bacon. Mike. Yeah, we'll do bacon. Toy time. Lots of smaller toys here that Mike can handle. Tennis balls of fun colors. Look at this one, Mike. Mike. He says, not really. Like, not <laughs> <laughs> we found a lobster, but this is definitely not the same lobster. He doesn't have the same, the same vibe. Sorry, Mike. Not the like Lululemon for dogs. <laughs> Ready pets. Oh my gosh, and like the gothic. Look at Mike's, literally his wardrobe could match me. I'm thinking we get this for Mike. <laughs> oh, 
think he would not be a fan, but he would look very cute. This I think I'm gonna get him a couple of these Oreos and some little Teddy Grahams. Oh, and the little toast. Oh my God, the little burnt toast. <gasps> yeah, I think this is like $9.99 a pound. Yeah, we'll just get him a little bit of this. Mike, we'll get you a couple of goodies. All right, the goods are in the car. Mike's excited to go to Home Goods. Mike needs a new, a new sofa, a new lamp. <laughs> I've been showing Mike a bunch of them and he seems pretty set on his pizza. Every time I touch it, he like looks at it and he's like, see, he's like, put it back. <laughs> Mike's looking at the Jurassic Park toys. <laughs> he says, I want a Funko Pop, Dad. That was a success, Mike, and now the sun is out. <laughs> Mike is so calm in Home Goods and I am so grateful for that. What a good hunt, hunt, buddy. Ryan is just quick running in to pick up something that he left at a register yesterday. And then we're going to get chicken nuggets at Burger King. <laughs> Mike hates drive throughs like despises them. They give him like anxiety because I think he hears voices and he's like, where are those coming from? So that's gonna be an experience. I'm sorry that we have to do that on your birthday. I'll give you a little bit of a chicken nugget to make up for it. The freak out has begun. He can hear the voice. <laughs> Mike, should we get you a crown on your birthday? I don't know if it's the smell of the food or the people's it voices. It does smell really good. But I also, think both. he does this at Starbucks, too. It's because he wants a pup cup. Yeah. This is always how drive throughs are. It's like red alert emergency. Well, the guy in the drive thru said he likes Mike, so. <laughs> I don't know if the feeling's mutual. Mike likes him. Mike's just excited. He says, I said, Mike, this guy's gonna give us chicken. You need to be nice. And I did promise him one chicken nugget. Okay, birthday boy. So it is now dinner time. It's 5.30, which is when Mike eats every day. He's very camera shy on his birthday, apparently. He says, I have age. Don't show my face. <laughs> so I'm gonna make Mike's little bougie feast. And then I did get some cookies to give him later tonight from Petco. But he's just been chilling all day. He's been enjoying that bone a lot. Relax. Relaxing, kind of like he wants to do. It's way too nasty outside to go on a walk still. So we'll have to do that tomorrow, which maybe we'll show you guys a little clip of. But we have some wet dog food to give him. I can put some more cheese on it. Yum, yum, yum. First off, of course, we got pumpkin. Every meal of Mike's gets pumpkin. Then I think we're gonna put in some dry food. So I was gonna skip dry food, but I read the back of this and it kind of looks like it's almost more of an additive versus like a replacement for food. So I'm still gonna give him some of his dry food. I might need like some more for, maybe not. <laughs> and then we got cheese. I would have loved to give him like some rice or some popcorn. I owe him popcorn just like I own the wok. So I will probably make him popcorn one of these nights. I don't know if we're gonna today, but I owe him some popcorn. But here's the feast. He's liking his pizza too. You know, it's Papa's dinner time. Look. Hey. <laughs> you can look. I'll have a piece Look, of that. don't touch. <laughs> Time for Mike's little birthday dessert. I know that his birthday vlog has been all about food, but I mean, isn't everybody's birthday all about food? So I got Mike some, oh, well this is a noodle. Mike, do you want a noodle? There's a bonus. <laughs> little Teddy Grahams. These are, there was like a little waffle looking snack that had like four pieces that all look like this. And then I got him Mike, but Ryan had put the treats in our treat jar and so the eye is like in the abyss. Sorry. <laughs> but I'm not gonna give him the whole name right now anyways. I'm gonna give him his special little like dog Oreo. Oreo yeah. 
Uh, it's probably the last clip of Mike's birthday today. We'll give you a little bit of footage of him going on his walk tomorrow, his little birthday walk. Yes, it's supposed to be beautiful. But otherwise, Mike, I hope you had a good birthday. I'll take that as a yes. He really liked all his gifts. Eagle Pumpkin. Happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> Happy seven. He says bye. He says goodbye. How was your little birthday walk, Mike? Huh? Need a drink? Mike, look! <gasps> Hello. Hello. Well, I hope you guys liked Mike's little birthday vlog. We had a blast. It was so fun to be able to take him out. Those are for delivery people. <laughs> it was so fun to be able to take him out after so many years of not being able to do it. But I hope you guys had a fun time joining us. And there will be another video on this channel very, very soon. Do not worry. And we will see you soon, right, Mike? Mm -hmm.